going to be working with watercolor but uh, some gouache too. So I'm going to start with a neutral and in this case since uh, this whole thing is greens and reds, red violets, yellow greens, I'm going to start with a neutral that is a mix of a viridian and a manganese violet. Um, later I've got some cobalt violets, some roses and other things I'll be popping in but that's what I'm going to start with. And while I do that, I'm going to put some white gouache into the wet and just charge into this whole thing and see what happens. I'm going to just uh, take this pocket knife and dip it into some ultramarine violet and start to uh, try to get a few little branch forms that I'm seeing the mark. You know, if I did this with a brush, it would be one thing but this will give me more of that feel of the uh, structure of the branches turning this on the side getting some good stronger darks in here now I like to say this is just a piece of paper you know it's my piece of paper so I, I want to try to make it uh, everything I'm experiencing I can come back at any time where I want stronger color I'll start right here and lift this again where I want that white uh, to be as white as it can and then I'm going to come in so I'm just taking this quinacridone magenta with a little white gouache it's uh, really capturing the color of this and the thing to remember is that when you add gouache and you put it down the lights dry darker and the darks dry lighter so uh, the color that note that I want I've got to come in um, a little lighter knowing it's going to dry darker so it's just uh, playing with the color letting the brush say the form and just letting it do what it does not getting in the way deciding where you want the stronger emphasis of color and then working the value around that color